Hey, 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 vacationers, it's Eddie from Explore Toria, and welcome back to episode 16 of the Flambe. Today on our cruise and theme park news show, we're going to be talking about a deposit reduction that Disney Cruise Line has going on right now. Holland America is running a deal on its cruises. Universal has renamed one of its roller coasters, and a tragedy has happened at Disney. All that and more today on Explore Toria. <music> First up, we've got cruise news. Do y'all remember that viral video that was going around about that guest on Carnival that was cracking open the water bottles in her room and drinking the water and then refilling it from the tap and then gluing the cap back on and putting it back like as, as if nothing ever happened? Well, she was just banned from the cruise line. That's right, that guest will no longer be able to hop aboard any Carnival ships. So I guess this goes to show you you know, maybe you don't uh, follow everything you see on the internet. Uh, not a good idea to, to scam people, I would say. Um, and hopefully this will dissuade anybody that saw that going down and decide they want to try it from doing it in the future. I really hope so. I don't want my water tampered with. But I always order the water anyway, so it comes, like usually on Carnival, I order like a 24 pack, so it comes, you know, sealed in that like plastic you know plastic wrap stuff so i wasn't too worried about it but you know i'm glad i'm glad uh i'm glad she's out of there to be honest she had to go holland america is running a deal right now on some select cruises booked until june 28th so you have until june 28th to book them they're going to give you 40 percent off of these select cruises you're also going to get your deposit reduced by 50 percent and you're going to get onboard credit of uh, $25 per person, up to $100, so up to four per people in the cabin. Not only that, but third and fourth guests are also sailing free. So that's a pretty good uh, pretty good deal. You think about it, you're getting a little bit of money back, 40% off, that's pretty huge. 40% off your sailing, that's pretty huge. I'll put a link to that deal down in the description so you can ch go check it out. But um, yeah, I might have to look into that myself. Holland America isn't the only cruise line that's giving you 50% off your deposit. Disney Cruise Line is doing the same. They're doing a 50% off deposit for select sailings that must be booked before August 9th. So for this one though, I actually wrote down all the dates for you. So let me, let me, let me, let me break it down. So on the Disney Wonder, it's gonna be uh, sailings between October 20th, 2024 and February 24th, 2025. For the Disney Dream, that's gonna be January 4th, 2025 to March 29th, 2025. For the Disney Magic, it's gonna be January 6th, 2025 to March 20th, 2025. And for the Disney Wish, between January 3rd, 2025 and March 31st, 2025. So sailings between those dates, you should be able to get 50% off of your deposit. So I'm not saying for 50% off the cruise, you're still paying the price, whatever the price is for the cruise, but you get 50% uh, off that deposit. So you don't have to put as much down up front. Royal Caribbean has just received delivery of the Utopia of the Seas. This is gonna, this is their next and newest Oasis class ship. And it's gonna be taken over as the second largest ship in the world, taking the spot from its sister ship, Wonder of the Seas, and uh, coming in right behind Icon of the Seas. So it'll be second largest in the world until next year when Star of the Seas comes out, which is which will be the new largest ship in the world, bumping um, Utopia down to third. But um, really excited about this ship. Um, inaugural sailing is July 19th, and your boy gonna be on there. Okay, I'm gonna be on that. Um, I can't wait to try out all the new stuff. They've, apparently the the um, the slide that they have, the dry slide, is even taller and faster now, so I wanna check that out. Um, I wanna tr really try to get into Royal Railway, Royal Railway, the new restaurant concept that they got and see what that's about. So I wanted to know, is there anything else about this brand new mega ship that you guys are interested in that you want me to really dive into when I'm on it because I will definitely do that for you. So go ahead and hit me in the comments with anything you want to see, any questions you have about the ship, and I'll try to uh, get that answer for you while I'm on board. Next up, we've got theme park news. Before they've even opened up, 
Universal has had to rename one of the roller coasters at Epic Universe. Starfall Racers has now lost that, st that title and is now being named Stardust Racers. This comes after a trademark uh, dispute with Starfall Education Foundation in Colorado, part of the Colorado School District, I guess. Um, they claim that Universal stole their name so that they can draw more kids in. I don't know how many kids care about the Starfall. I guess if you're in that, you're, you're part of that district and go in there, I guess specifically there were, they felt they were specifically trying to get kids from Colorado to go to go down to Orlando, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Universal Studios Hollywood is having a buy one, get one deal going on right now. Kind of. So, well, yeah, that's buy one, get one. You buy one ticket, one single day ticket, and you'll get a second one, uh, a second day basically. So you get a second ticket. The deal is going to be ongoing until October 9th and all the visits need to be um, complete by December 18th. So there's no blackout dates for that first visit. So when you buy that first ticket, you can go uh, any day you want to before that time frame. But for that second ticket, they have certain blackout dates in July, September, October, November, and December. August seems like it's all free. Anyway, tickets start at $109 at Universal Studios Hollywood. So check it out. Over at Disney World, Communicore Hall is officially opened and it has a new Encanto celebration going down. It looks like it's a, it's a dance party with some of the characters and um, uh, it looks interactive. The kids are up there. Now, like I said, we did just get off to Disney Wonder and they had something similar that they just also started on the ships. So uh, it was pretty much named the same thing, Encanto Celebration. It went up, the kids uh, got to dance. Um, to the, to the music, there was, there was karaoke, everybody was singing along. And then at the end, the characters came out and there was able to dance with them and then have a, have another, uh, photo opportunity, just a quick self shot photo opportunity there. Um, with, the, with, with, uh, Mirabel and, um, and Bruno, you know, don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. Anyway, um, it was fun. I, I'll put some video to it here for you guys to see really quick. But yeah, it seems like they're doing something similar over there in uh, Communicore Hall. So should be fun. I would suggest going to check it out, especially if you are an Encanto fan. Country Bear Musical Jamboree is reopening at Disney World on July 17th. It's reopening with a brand new show, revamped. They're going to be uh, having new songs, so new twists on Disney songs, um, a little bit more recent songs than they used to have before. So it should be... Um kind of interesting i've heard some of the um some of the new covers if you would and uh yeah they're pretty good so if that's one of your one of the things you've been missing about the parks go ahead and now's your time almost your time to go check it out and finally a tragedy at disneyland there was a accident in the back lot which resulted in a cast member tragically passing away um an accident behind the scenes while the cast member was riding in a golf cart, a border golf cart. Uh, there was some kind of accident. She fell off, hit her head, and sadly passed away from her injuries. You know, sad, sad reminder that the happiest place on earth um, is still on earth. And, you know, things can still go wrong. So our thoughts are with the family of this cast member during these tough times. And that wraps it up for this episode um i know we've been gone for two weeks like i said last weekend we were on the wonder so didn't get a chance to 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 give you guys news for that week so luckily there wasn't too much in these last two weeks too much huge news i tried to give you what i thought was um eh, most most relevant for you and for your trips um as always if you enjoyed getting this information please give us a thumbs up and if you're not already, please consider subscribing so you can keep up with this news. Also, the first episode of our vlog above the Disney Wonder just dropped. So go ahead and give that a watch if you can. Um, I'll put the link over here for you to somewhere. I don't know how to put links. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll put a link somewhere for you to watch that. Go ahead and check it out. Um, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hold your head up high. I know sometimes